Hi Capricorn, how are you? My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. If you're new, hi, welcome. And before anything, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Also remember that the roles can be reversed in between you and your person. And these are general readings. This is not a person. Also, of course, again, it's not going to resonate with everybody. I know I'm being repetitive, but I have to because people don't seem to understand it. So with that said, let's take a look at what the universe has for you. Before anything, let's take a look at your past and we're going to move forward, okay? So, please and thank you, Spirit. What can you give me about uh, for Capricorn's past? Capricorn's past, please and thank you. So, we have the Nine of Wands, so, um, Leo Sagittarius Energy, Ace of Cups and Reverse, Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Two of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Virgo as well, Six of Wands, you can be dealing with a, a soulmate connection or a past person. Uh, I get a lot of water, Five of Cups. And Capricorn as well. We got um, Knight of Pentacles here. At the bottom here, we got the Knight of Wands. I mean, Knight of Cups in the reverse. So, a failed relationship broke you very badly. It left you very, very heartbroken. Uh, this person, you thought it was the one. This could have been a relationship. Relationship, like you could be dealing with this person. Or, for most of, most of you, this was a relationship. Like I said, you guys were dating. And things did not went the way you expected or the way you wanted it, which caused a lot of pain. I feel like you feel disappointed at this person. This person could have cheated on you. This person could have cheated on you for what I'm seeing. Like, uh, you found out that this person was seeing other people and, you know, doing other things with other people. With the six of ones right here, this person was doing something with somebody that you knew or somebody that you have seen before, you know? Not necessarily a friend, but somebody that you were, that you kind of knew who they were. With the five of cups right here, I feel like it was somebody close to you or somebody that, again, you knew, even if it was just like by seeing, by looking at them. And that caused a lot of pain because you never thought this person that your boyfriend or your girlfriend had the audacity of, you know, having intimacy with that person, which of course caused you to have instantly heartbreak and just end up, end things with this person. Um, this person, once you caught it, this person was like your person was very, very sorry, very apologetic and say like, oh, I'm sorry, this didn't mean anything. And you did not budge, you did not pay for that. You're like, you know what, your mistake, you're going to pay for this. And pretty much you broke up with them and you walk away from them. But this is hurting you still because it's more about the betrayal. You know, like you trusted them, you loved them and they freaking backstab you, like back, <clears throat> stab you in the back. Of course, if it's backstab you, but they backstab you. That's what I'm going to say. So, we're going to move forward, and we're going to take a look at what's going on. They are telling me to switch tarot, so I'm going to take this one here. They want me to use this instead. So, I'm going to move this here, and we're going to look with my cards. Let's take a look at what's going on. I'm going to move this right here. Sorry, but I have a small space, so, you know, I got to do what I got to do. So, I'm getting a new desk soon so i'm excited about that i ordered it so anyways let's take a look let's see okay the first card from your person it says message through social media so this person is going to message you through social media most definitely uh, if you block them they're going to make a fake account most definitely uh, again you are the love of my life so now they're realizing after they did what they did that they want you and you are the one that they want to be with but honey boo they did what they did right we got you drive me crazy and then i want you so bad so yeah they are in their feelings they want you back um they are it seems to be that they are very unstable they're going back and forth like they're going crazy because they can't understand that you don't want to see them that you don't want to talk to them and they're like oh no i have to do something to fix this you know oh my hands are so i'm so clumsy sometimes want to take those two this is too many cards spirit please and thank you please just give me one or two cards please and thank you and i'm sorry then we got i want to explain myself yep look at that they want to explain why they did what they did i mean i don't know but that's what they want to do thank you spirit though thank you so much we got come back to me <clears throat> i wonder how life would have been if i had chosen you you deserve better so Spirit is telling you that you deserve better. We all know that. Uh, again, I feel like you still have feelings for this person because love is not something that you can actually have, like a switch that you can turn off. But um, they're coming back and they want to explain themselves. I want to start over. Look at that. They want to start over with you. 
they want to start over uh, we're gonna take a look at this oh man and I'm gonna have hate over this reading because people are like well they cheated on me like girl I did not cheat on you I'm just reading the cards like you know I'm just telling you I'm mad too like I'm mad too you know so one more one more I'm sorry guys I'm OCD sometimes that'll be good enough they told me to do it again. Jeez. There we go. Yeah, they feels good. What can you give me about um, the Capricorn situation and this person? We got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Cups again. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus. The Nine of Pentacles in that reverse. It was an earth sign as well. It could be you as well. Or the other earth signs. Again, three of cups in reverse. The queen of swords in reverse. Okay. And then nine of cups in reverse. So, the nine of pentacles. And the ten of cups. And the nine of cups. So, are you ready for what I'm going to say? Because I'm upset by it. Because I do not understand this but I'm gonna tell you what this person is feeling and what they want so with the eight of Pentacles right here uh, in the relationship that you guys had right they felt that you were too focused in your career or that you were too focused in money or that you were too focused in something else right and they felt like you didn't put in the effort and that you were not invested as you used to be in this connection right they felt like at the same time because maybe things were not as perfect in the relationship they felt that so there was problem in paradise right they felt like there was problem in paradise and that their relationship was not worth investing that things were over so instead of them working things out or telling you what's good right or you know fighting for this they decided to go elsewhere like starting to talk to people they downloaded apps they were talking to people first it was nothing very um what they will say harmful because they did not consider that as cheating because they were not having sex with the person or seeing the person but they were getting nudes and all of that so you know they were actually seeing things like that you know but they again in their head was all harmless because they were not having sex physically or seeing that person physically um this could also what it could be what you found out on their phone you know it does not mean that they were cheating like you know that's what you found out with the three of cups right here again they were starting to wonder like you know flirting with other people instagram stuff like that and they were not telling people that they were in a relationship others of you this person didn't knew that they were in a relationship but they didn't care because you know if your person does not respect the relationship you cannot expect other people to respect it you know so they gave that okay for other people to disrespect your guys' relationship with the queen of swords right here they felt like it was very pointless to talk to you it was really pointless because you guys always argue or they felt like you were always arguing and they felt like like the victim like they fell in the point that you pushed them to do that you know that's in their mentality which is not okay which is not right which is not it's not true at all with the nine of cups right here um yes they were actually sharing news and stuff like that but they did not have feelings for those people either they were just i don't know i think they were bored i don't know what the heck they were doing because they were like suppressing their emotions because you guys were having issues it could have been money issues or anything else that it was causing a lot of stress so they convinced themselves in a way shape or form that they did not love you anymore and with the nine of pentacles right here they fell for this specific person who was younger and that's when they started to share nudes and perhaps they had slept together or so you know what i'm saying like it was a specific someone that was younger this person seems to be light skinned has brown to auburn hair hair they wear a lot of blue or a lot of dresses i don't know who this person is of course but that is the person that they fell for and they did had intimacy and they forgot about your family or you guys family and what they did that as soon as they, f they, they did this with this person, they realized that they have feelings for you and that they shouldn't have done that. And they, they went like, oh my God, let me just try to fix it. And they're starting to be very, very, very kind with you. 
putting the extra effort and all that and you were suspicious about it that's when you found out that things were you know something happened because he he or she was being too good and you know this person very well so you knew that something was up you know so that's what i see so what is this person's uh what is this person still hiding from the situation from capricorn what are they hiding the chair and reverse cancer energy the four of pentacles so they have still they still have contact with this person not as much as they used to i also see leo, the sun leo energy let me take a look real quick thank you spirit with the 801 so they still have this person in their contacts like in their phone they don't talk to them as much they don't see them anymore but the four of pentacles they still keep some sort of photos from this person with the sun right here um they didn't find the happiness they thought they were gonna find with this person so they stopped talking to them they're not sleeping with this person anymore but they still keep some sort of either or communication or some sort of like photos or something that they're not telling you still like they could be on under their social media still or something that you need to still they need to like erase completely with the ten of cups right here now they want to work on your relationship but i feel like this relationship is very very damaged by this and i don't see you wanting to do that i feel like you want it you just want it uh, answers just for them to face what they did just because sometimes it's what we want but uh now they want to you know work on the thing but i don't see you want to work on this oh my god my hairs i don't feel like you want to work on this connection anymore but they're hiding something from you so just if you were to give this person a chance uh make sure that they give you everything the phone and you clear that shit out because they're hiding something from you there and if they have communication with that person be careful who you trust okay so how is this person feeling towards capricorn how do they how do they feel how do they feel towards that past person how do they feel towards that person that they cheated on capricorn with how do they feel for them let's see what is this feelings for them still two of swords and reverse page of ones okay they don't have emotions for them like they don't love them to that side person they don't love them they only were attracted to them like sexually that's all they wanted six of uh seven of ones uh they don't really want to work things out with that person they're not interested in that person in a love matter like death card and reverse like that they just hit it and left like they only wanted sex with them they did have sex with them and they were uninterested right away because they only were attracted to them by by physically like I said, the three of ones right here. They don't want anything with that person. They want to go back to the to your ship, like your boat, like your home. They want to go back to you. They don't want this person anymore. It's done, said and done. They have no other like second guess of like, oh, do I want this past person or this person that I cheated on my girl or my dude with? No, they don't want that person. They just wanted to have sex. It was a moment of weakness, like they call it. I don't call it like that, but that's how they call it. How do they feel towards Capricorn now? The Emperor Aries. Oh, now they want to do everything for you, um, Capricorn, the moon, and reverse Pisces energy. Um, they want to do everything for you. They want to give you the stars, the moon. They don't, they're don't. they not going to be shady or they don't want to lie to you anymore. So if you were to ask them anything, they swear they will tell you everything. But I still feel like they're lying and hiding something from you. So you have to be very, very, very intuitive about it. Um, with the six of ones and reverse, um, they really want to get back together and they want things to go how they used to be. Although they are very, very aware that things are not going to get back to how they were because what they did was very wrong. And But they still feel like they want to work their way to get to what you guys had. Like I said before, it's going to be very difficult. With the ten of swords right here. They felt they feel very bad because they broke your heart and they feel betrayed. A lot of people in their family or your side of the family don't want to talk to them anymore or the side of the family don't want to see them anymore and they feel like everybody's attacking them and they feel like, oh my God, I can't take it anymore. But at the same time, they know they deserve it. So it's like, I don't want to take it, but I know I deserve it kind of energy. Um, they feel sometimes that you are ve being very, very, very... Uh, hard on them if you guys have kids they feel like oh why are you doing this or that so again this person is sorry but at the same time they're not 
taking accountability and understanding how hard it is for you to forgive them like you have to go through phases you know and you're more than okay if you don't want this person back because this person is going to tell you just so like oh it was an accident i'm stupid stuff like that you know and relationships are not perfect so if they're going to be slipping like that you got to double guess this because they feel like oh i'm sorry now you got to forgive me that's the kind of energies i'm getting so be careful with the ace of wands and reverse they want a miracle they're expecting a miracle they want uh you can be dealing with a leo sagittarius like i said pisces cancer scorpio taurus and virgo as well um they're hoping for uh like a miracle like please um god or whoever uh give me a chance for this person they're hoping and wanting a second chance like they're begging at this point for a second chance and they want to start over they want to start over like they realize that they shouldn't have done that duh right like and they felt like oh i should not like broke your heart and broke your trust this way but that that's what they want they want a second chance they they seem to have love for you still but again I don't know. They have love and they have guilt. I don't know. 901s right here. Look at that. They're begging for your forgiveness because they do love you in a way. And they do understand that they fucked up. And they want a second chance or third or fourth. You know, whatever this is. But they're begging you at this point to get back together. They want to get back together. They want to start over to build, to rebuild. That's what I see what they want. Okay, what is the outcome in between Capricorn and this person? Please and thank you. The Sun, Leo energy, and the reverse. The Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you, Spirit. The Five of Wands. The Page of Swords. Okay, in reverse. So I feel it's gonna be harder than they that that they think because right now you're not budging. You're not very happy, of course. You're very upset and you're not ready to even think or looking at this person. You have been working on yourself, working on rebuilding, working on your own family. And, you know, you're like working and just getting back in track without them. But the five for once right here, you could have been blocking this person from like all, everything because they've been texting you nonstop and it's getting annoying. So you're trying to work on yourself. Uh, right now, you're very upset, very angry. You are not ready to forgive this person. You're not ready to even like I said, look at them or start a relationship again. Like you're not very interested right now. Right now, you're trying to work on your career, your stuff and yourself uh, with the page of swords in the reverse right here right now you're not even taking any actions you're not telling them no but you're not telling them yes right now you're not even acknowledging them you're not even putting every any effort or any focus on them because right now the only thing you want is to be okay within yourself you need to heal you need to work on things and whenever you get out of there if you still want to give the chance you will but right now you're not even acknowledging this person because you're not focusing on them you're actually very hurt and you're trying to work on your heartbreak and look at that with the five of cups right here i see you very heartbroken i see you like working on yourself i see you like you are a very strong person but sometimes you break down because you know you think about the time the the efforts you know the memories and you're like how this person could like just brush it off and just do that to me you know so it's hard to like know knowing that you deserve better knowing that this is not good for you and walking away but at the same time i do understand that you still love this person and you still have feelings for them and it's not something that you feel should be this that feeling is not something that you should be a feeling afraid or even embarrassed about because that's totally normal it's valid 100 percent. so there's nothing wrong with you but I admire you because you know that you deserve better. And even though that you love them and you would like to give them a chance, you know that you can't do that. So I'm very proud of you. And you are very, very uh, either or praying or actually, you know, manifesting good things because it's a rough patch. You know, it's very, very hard. And you're just working on it like a freaking warrior. Like you're amazing because, oh my goodness, you're a very strong person but look at that after this the queen of cups you're gonna just bloom you're gonna be just renewed and you're gonna be just fine and you're gonna be financially fine you're gonna be beautifully and okay but i feel like you're not gonna take this person back for now 
or at all for some of you but right now i see you trying to heal and trying to push forward and no matter how much this person wants to come back into your life i don't see you giving them a chance still because again they don't deserve it and i don't feel that you're going to give it to them anyway so again i'm proud of you and i'm sorry that you had to go through that now we're gonna go with uh capricorns um career <laughs> capricorns career and financial situation we got the three of wands in reverse the ace of cups so right now if you're going through a rough patch um, uh you know money wise and you feel like oh things are not getting any better when are they gonna get any better so um it's gonna be on on a full moon i see number six in a full moon and Something that's very, very important, something that you have been waiting forever, something that you have been working forever is going to just come into your life and it's going to be like, boom, exactly what you wanted. This could be um, a raise, this could be a promotion, this could be as much as like, getting a new job. And uh, I feel also that all of you are relocating or moving and that opportunity and that chance is going to just appear sooner than expected. With the Five of Cups, I still see some sort of like i feel like again some of you are going through divorce or going through some sort of situation that financially is very very stressing but it's telling you right here that me see let me see i'm gonna take just that one i'm not please spirit please and thank you just i want to take just the one or two i don't take more than that please and thank you i'm sorry so we have the full and reverse so right now you're ending some sort of cycle either or you're leaving a job or you know anything that involves money you're ending that and you're actually engaging or jumping in into some sort of new beginning or some sort of like new situation um it's gonna take five weeks to five months but you're going to get out of that situation that is actually keeping you very stuck, that you really don't know exactly what to do. But there's going to be a new beginning, a new chance. It's going to be like a door, an exit to this situation because I see you that you are going through a rough patch when it comes to money and career. Uh, don't give up because the universe is listening to you. It's going to take a little bit longer because sometimes like, you know, things take a little bit to wrap out, to wrap up or to prepare. But something good is coming your way sooner than you expect though. And then we have my goodness i shouldn't have put lotion i regret that i regret it so we got the wheel of fortune right here and anybody who likes to leave hate comments like i hide you from my channel so as soon as you type it you're gonna be hidden from my channel and you're gonna waste your time because i don't even i don't even honestly like waste my time uh responding to that like i got things to do like you know like nothing i'd rather do nothing that respond to you guys when you leave hate comments like that like oh, i always respond to the good ones the kind ones you know but the hate i don't respond to that i just delete them so waste your time if you want so with the wheel of fortune right here and the reverse right here and the nine of pentacles i see like uh i think you don't see this happening but a new era is coming like your your life is going to change 360 everything you know everything you're used to is going to change and you're going to engage into a good fortune good fortune is coming your way uh financially stable renewed more independent strong and you're going to feel and you're going to look beautifully so again five months to seven maybe two uh, to ten months is going to happen so don't worry about it you're gonna bloom you're gonna actually just get out of the situation i can promise you that so now we're gonna go with capricorns uh new love or capricorn singles capricorn new love and capricorns singles let's see what we got for you guys we got the six of cups in reverse so whoever is still single and waiting for a past person right uh that that thing is done over and done it's not gonna happen that person that you thought it was for you and that is coming it's not the one for you it's somebody else with the magician right here you're gonna be you're gonna be dealing with that air sign it's gonna be either or gemini libra or aquarius that's the person that's coming into your life which is not a past person it's somebody completely new this person could be a little older than you This person just got out of a situ of a relationship as well. They're completely over that. 
um, you both are in the same boat. Like you guys are not wanting to rush anything. Whenever you see this person, you both want to get to know each other. And then you're going to go from there. Um, I don't know. I see spring being important. It could be this year, the next. We have the Ace of Swords right here. This is something that you have been waiting for or have been waiting for with your older partners that they have never been able to fulfill. So, but this person is going to fulfill your sexually is going to be fulfilled. <laughs> and action-wise, they're going to match that. So they're going to actually be the person that you always wanted your other partners to be. Things that you were asking the wrong person. And this person is completely new and this person is going to come in. Um, maybe around October, like I said, or spring, like I said, this year or the next. And this person is going to surprise you because this person is completely what you wanted as in bed and also with their actions. They're not just like talk, talk, talk. They actually do what they mean what the, or what they say. So with the Nine of Swords right here, this person is going to actually take away the insecurities. They're going to actually embrace everything about you and they're gonna tell you how beautiful you are and they're not toxic you're gonna feel free you're gonna have freedom but at the same time you're gonna be in a relationship you're gonna feel supported and at the same time they're gonna feel supported so you guys actually are a very good match uh with the empress right here again it hasn't happened yet it's gonna take about a, a bit but it's gonna be an air sign also with the chariot right here you could also be dealing with a water sign which is cancer so this person is not here they're pretty pretty far there's distance in between you two but i also see number seven being important just keep that in mind but they're coming into your life uh, faster than expected or as fast as they can um, again this person uh, could have if they're older it could be a, uh, they could have gray hair long gray hair and a beard if it's a male also if it's a female this person could be older than you and they have like long black hair and light skin and they're bilingual I don't know why but I'm gonna tell you that bilingual and they're very very uh, money wise they're very very independent so it's somebody that's very very stable and it's something new for you and the 701s right here if you are if the gape uh the gape the, maybe the name is gabe um the gap in between you both like i'm talking about age gap is a lot you're gonna have a lot of friends and family telling you oh you deserve somebody younger don't da, da, da. follow your heart don't listen to these okay it means that you have to stand up for yourself and stand up for this connection because a lot of people are not gonna like that the gap in between either or you're younger or you're older a lot of people are gonna be talking so just keep in mind that if you love this person and if it's worth fighting for do not listen to haters just keep on pushing because it seems to be that you guys are very very good together and that is what i got so before i go let me give you a moonology let's see what the advice is so we have a new start is coming new moon what did I tell you? Then we have, geez, why am I so clumsy? A personal issue reaches solution. Full moon and cancer. Look at that. And one more. Oh, two more. Thank you. We have the energy is gaining momentum. And then we have work through your fears, Scorpio. New moon and Scorpio. At the bottom here, we have surrender to the divine and this is full moon take that before let me just give you two cards from your angels as well let's see what they have to say about the situation what can you give me for capricorn here please and thank you two cards for capricorn oh my goodness what the heck is going on guys never put lotion while you do tarot because my goodness so we got overcoming difficulties and then relationship harmony so overcoming difficulties, it says the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting and previous challenges. Oh my goodness, my nose. Then we have relationship harmony. It says we angels are opening the hearts of everybody, of everybody or everyone involved. Gish. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. That is what I got for you. And also this is for whoever believes in prayers. Please, if you're not the one respect everybody's beliefs and let it go like i said my readings are for everybody and anybody who needs them so this is a prayer for my capricorns who believes and wants and likes prayers okay i'll take that so we got galatia 6 10 and it says as we have opportunity let us do good to all people especially to those who belong to the family of believers 
there we go that's what i got for you i want to thank you for sticking around please like and subscribe and i'll be back next week with more readings thank you so very much and you have a nice day bless me bye